Ever wondered what happens when a 17-year-old depressed teen connects emotionally with a beautiful woman in her 40s? Find out in today's romance movie, The Maid. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie with relaxed recaps. The beginning shows a boy named Jack sitting in a cab on his way to his dad's house. He looks like he'd rather be anywhere else, and that's confirmed when he greets his father very coldly. During their first conversation, it becomes obvious that the father and son don't get along, and the boy is forced by his uncle to spend his vacation with his father. Jack's dad tries to make amends with him and wants to get along with his son, but Jack brushes off all his attempts and continues to be rude to him. In the end, David gives up and leaves Jack alone to settle in. The next day, Jack is sitting by his window when he sees a woman in the front yard. Curiously, he follows her and finds her hanging the laundry. He stays hidden, simply watching her from afar, when his dad approaches him and introduces the girl as Maria, his maid. When he sees Jack looking at her, he teases him, saying he hired her because he needed a beautiful face around the house. He introduces Maria to Jack and tells him to call for her if he needed any help before leaving for his meeting. Maria brings Jack a drink and chats with him about his dad. Jack doesn't hold back and tells her that he and his father aren't very close. Maria sympathizes with him and asks him if he's close with his mother instead. But as soon as Jack hears her say that, he snaps at her and storms out of there. Realizing that she hit a nerve, Maria immediately goes to apologize. She genuinely asks Jack if she had said something wrong, and Jack moodily reveals that his mom is not around before leaving with his camera. Later, he's reviewing some of the pictures he took when Maria comes to tell him that she's going home. He immediately stops her and apologizes for snapping at her earlier. He further opens up about his mom's death during childbirth and his bad relationship with his stepmom. Maria listens to everything and feels sympathetic. She starts acting weird when Jack starts blaming himself for his mom's death, but when Jack asks her about it, she brushes it off and leaves. The next day, David invites Jack to join him for dinner, but Jack rudely tells him to leave. Having had enough of his attitude, David tells him to get his act together and act his age, which further angers Jack who curses and yells at him to go away. Sometime later, Jack is out taking some pictures when a girl named Becky approaches him and invites him over to hang out, but he refuses when he sees Maria drive by on her cycle and follows her instead. He hides and takes a picture of Maria who is reading a book and then follows her into the kitchen. Maria asks him about Becky, but he tells her that he finds girls his age very immature. She happily comments about him spending his 18th birthday with his dad. But, like your typical 17-year-old moody teenager, Jack suddenly becomes angry and curses his dad before storming out of the kitchen leaving Maria confused. She again approaches Jack to apologize, but he assures her that he is just upset with his dad. He further opens up about his bad relationship with his dad, how he was never there for him, and how his maternal uncle is more of a dad than he is. Maria sympathizes with him and tells him that she can understand what he's going through, hinting that she may have had a similar experience. Jack asks her about it, and she confesses that she too had bad parents and had lost someone close to her, but doesn't elaborate any further. To change the topic, Jack asks Maria to teach him some French, to which she gladly agreed. After lunch, they're sitting outside when Jack shows Maria a picture of his mother, commenting on how she looks a lot like her. When their conversation started getting depressing again, Maria tried to shift the topic to Jack's birthday, asking how he would like to celebrate it. But the topic of his birthday leads to another tantrum. When Maria goes to find him again, Jack confesses that he hates his birthday because he feels guilty about his mother's death and can't help but get depressed every year. Maria consoles him, and this time Jack insists on knowing whom Maria had lost in her life. Though reluctant at first, Maria opens up about her life. She tells Jack how when she was 16, she fell in love with a guy and got pregnant, how he abandoned her and she had to face her parents alone. Her religious parents were mortified by the news but still let her have the baby only to later force her to sign him up for adoption. She also couldn't go looking for him because she felt so guilty for abandoning him. She mourned the loss of her baby boy and blamed herself for everything just like Jack did. Now it was Jack's turn to comfort her. They were interrupted by Jack's dad who informs Jack that he has to go to Paris for a business meeting. Jack becomes very upset because again his father had to put work before him and it leads to another fight. In the evening, Maria goes to call Jack for dinner, but he refuses to eat. Maria sits down and asks Jack about his relationship with his dad. Jack tells her that he had always been a workaholic and that he had spent most of his childhood with his stepmother who was only too happy to cast him aside when her son came along. Maria advises him that he should talk about how he feels with his dad. 
Jack thanks her but doesn't seem too keen to follow up on the advice. The next day, Maria's on her way to Jack's house when she meets with her ex-boyfriend, Jacob. She invites him inside for coffee, and they start talking about their current relationship status and their past relationship. Jack hears their voices and starts listening in as Jacob talks about marriage and how he still has feelings for Maria. It clearly bothers Jack, but he continues listening to Jacob trying to persuade Maria to getting back together. When Maria refuses to answer him, Jacob gives up and asks her to call him before leaving. At this point, it becomes very obvious that Jack has started to feel more than friendly affection for Maria. He approaches her as she's working in the kitchen, and when she cautiously wishes him a happy birthday, he jokingly asks for a present. She immediately becomes flustered not having bought anything for him and promises him that she would get him whatever he wants as long as it's not too expensive. Using this chance, he demands her to be his birthday present. At first, she believes that he's joking, but he becomes more and more forceful with his demands, talking about how they have connections between them. Maria dismisses his confession, saying that he's just a kid with misplaced feelings. She tries to make him understand that she was just being friendly and doesn't have feelings for him, but Jack doesn't want to believe it. Instead, he accuses her of still being in love with Jacob, making Maria snap at him. He then tries to guilt trip her, saying that she never truly cared about him and was pretending to understand him. Maria assures him that she cares for him, just not in the way he wants her to. In a last, desperate attempt to win her over, he confesses his love to Maria, leaving her speechless. Thinking that he's finally getting through to her, he tries to touch her, making her slap him. Just then, the doorbell rang. Becky was there to ask if Jack wanted to hang out with her. Wanting to get away from Maria, Jack instantly agrees. Becky is very interested in Jack and asks if he wants to go back to her house since her parents weren't home. For a moment, it looks like he's about to accept her offer, but in the end, he refuses her and leaves. When he returns home again, he finds Maria drinking alone and crying, hinting that she wasn't completely unaffected by Jack leaving with Becky. Seeing her in this vulnerable state, Jack tries to persuade Maria again to accept his feelings, and for a moment, Maria gets carried away, but she quickly comes to her senses and leaves. Maria tries to make Jack understand by telling him that there's no future with her and that the age difference between them is too much, but all this just seems to anger Jack further. He cruelly states that she wants to abandon him like she abandoned her baby. Maria is outraged to hear him use her weakness like that, but when that too doesn't work, he tries to guilt trip her saying if she would be happy if he disappeared or killed himself. You know, the typical teen angst dialogue. But that somehow gets to Maria, who is finally willing to get intimate with him. To make things worse, immediately after being intimate, Maria starts talking about Jack's relationship with his dad and how he should give him another chance. She insists that he patch things up with his dad before he leaves and he promises her that he would. Maria is preparing lunch for David's arrival when Jack comes behind her and starts getting intimate with her, but they jump apart when they hear David's voice. David wishes Jack happy birthday, gives him a gift, and invites him to have dinner with him, but Jack rudely dismisses his offer. David seems done with trying to get along with him, but Maria insists on talking to Jack. She manages to convince him to spend the night with his dad, promising him that they would spend time together the next day. Jack approaches his dad over drinks. Everything Jack has wanted to tell his dad is laid on the table. Jack's dad is shocked to find that Jack blames himself for his mom's death and even clarifies that the only reason he remarried so soon is so he wouldn't grow up without a mother. He asks for another chance to make up for his mistake, and though he's still reluctant, it looks like Jack is willing to give their relationship another try. The next day, Jack stops Maria by the gates and insists that she skips work and spends the rest of the day with him, since he would be returning to the US tomorrow. It takes some convincing, but Maria finally agrees to skip work and they spend the rest of the day together. Later, Maria takes Jack back to her apartment, and they're getting intimate when Maria suddenly breaks down. Turns out, Maria had lied to Jack about something and was feeling guilty because of it. She confesses that she had lied to Jack when she had said she had never went looking for her baby. She reveals that the first thing she did after leaving her home was to look for her baby boy. And after a lot of searching, she found him, only to find out that he had been killed in an accident while he was playing outside. She breaks down in tears, blaming herself for her child's death. Jack comforts her, telling her to let go of the burden of the past, like she had advised him to. They spend the rest of the night together. The next day, Jack is packing all his things and getting ready to leave. David comes to pick up his luggage, and Jack takes this chance to kiss Maria goodbye. The relationship between Jack and David had changed drastically from where it started. 
Jack is willing to give David another chance, and it shows as they hug goodbye. The last scene shows Maria visiting her mother and making amends with her. She too got another chance at motherhood. As it turns out, she's pregnant with Jack's child. That was it for today, guys. Like this video and subscribe to Relaxed Recaps for more content like this. Until next time.